from making sure our country is safe with different funding initiatives and, and different funding initiatives across the board. Rather, the government of Canada has had their hands full over 2014. Fraser Snowden had a chance to speak with the MP for Westlock St. Paul, Brian Storset, about what has happened throughout the year. Making sure our country is safe and with different funding initiatives across the board, the government of Canada has had their hands full over 2014. I spoke with the MP for Westlock St. Paul, Brian Storset, about what has happened throughout the year. Can you tell us uh, what have we seen this year as far as the uh, federal government and uh, our riding here in Westlock St. Paul? Well, this has been a great year for us, obviously, the year leading up to the election year in 2015. Um, we've had a lot of successes within our community, both at the local level, but also at the federal government's level. You know, from a global perspective, we're looking at having a surplus going forward this year. That's tremendous. We may even actually get in to surplus by the fourth quarter of, of uh, the 2014 fiscal year. We've been able to uh, make sure that we keep control of our spending, but at the same time, we've also been able to um, make sure that we invest more money into things like veterans. Uh, we've proposed a massive uh, tax credit and uh, tax break for middle income families, which is with the income splitting, which is something that I know was very successful with our seniors when we implemented income splitting. I'm hoping that in 2015 budget we can get that in and we'll be just as successful for middle income families here in Westlock St. Paul. Okay, and what can we look forward to uh, heading into 2015? Working with uh, both the province and the federal government and the municipalities and First Nations to develop, uh, to start implementing that plan now so that our communities in Northeast Alberta are ready and prepared to uh, embrace what comes after the federal election and, and uh, be right there so that we can start uh, talking in a cohesive voice as one voice to uh, both levels of government and uh, getting some of these investments that we need. Okay, and what do you have to say to your constituents uh, for the end of the year? Well, uh, first of all, Merry Christmas to everyone and a Happy New Year. Please be safe out on the roads and it's been a real honor. You know, obviously I announced this year I wouldn't be running again in the next federal election. It's been an absolute honor, Fraser, too. We'll sit and work with people like yourselves, uh, the people I've had an opportunity to work with up here. And that being said, we've still got a year to get a few things implemented, and I'm looking very forward to going out there and fighting for more federal dollars, working cohesively with the new Premier of Alberta and trying to um, get some more provincial dollars into this area, and working with our MLAs so that we can continue to be strong advocates for our community. And like I said, now that we have a plan and a vision moving forward, we need to start implementing it. So I'm very much looking forward to it. All right. Thank you very much for sitting down with us. Anytime. Thank you. That was the MP with Westlock St. Paul, Brian Storset. With New Cap News, I'm Fraser Snowden. It was an exciting time in the Alberta legislature this year. With a change in leadership and the eventual cabinet shuffle, a lot of MLAs saw their roles change. We sat down with Richard Starkey as we got his take on how the new Alberta Premier Jim Prentice has done in his short time in power. It's been a whirlwind and uh, you know I, I will say that uh, uh, you know as Premier, uh, Premier Prentice has really you know uh, brought a new sort of air of competence and confidence to the Premier's office. Uh, you know, very decisive in the moves that he's made, you know, in that first week after being sworn in, you know, made a number of decisions that, you know, you know a lot of people were saying, well, those were obvious. Well, you know, perhaps they were, but, but he made those decisions and he's continued on making, you know, uh, you know, decisions that are sometimes not, you know, the easy ones to make. And I will tell you, you know, heading into this year's budget, some of the decisions we're going to have to make are, are by no means easy decisions. And, uh, you know, it's good to have someone with his experience and his uh, breadth and depth of uh, uh, past service, both in the private and the public sector, uh, as our Premier. And uh, certainly I'm looking forward to 2015. And what do you think of his changes to the Cabinet this year? Well, you know, throughout the leadership, he indicated that Cabinet needed to be smaller and that Cabinet needed to have some new faces. And uh, certainly he delivered that, you know, bringing in uh, uh, Minister Mandel and Minister Dirks. And, uh, you know, some of us, that meant some of us had to take a step back and step out of cabinet and he asked me to do that as well. And, uh, you know, that's something you have to accept. You have to, you know, you know be a team player and, uh, you know, really I'm, 
Uh, I'm, I'm quite excited about the, the job that he's given me to do with regards to the Rural Health Care Review. Uh, this is extremely important to Albertans and, and to rural Albertans and I've had that chance now for the last uh, three months or so to engage with uh, Albertans in the rural areas and, and it's, a, it's a big project but it's also very exciting for the potential that it has. And speaking about to hel about healthcare, Lloyd Minster. This is a city mm -hmm. that knows a lot about it. We've had a lot of people com have issues about it. Uh, people complaining about long wait times, mm -hmm. need for more bed. Mm -hmm. Now the government has stepped in over the last couple of years, and finally there are some changes that are happening. Mm -hmm. But when will people finally start seeing changes on the ground floor? Well, you know, the, the big, really the big uh, change or the big uh, move forward this year, of course, was the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between Alberta and Saskatchewan, which, you know, for the first time in, in you know, nearly 20 years, updated the relationship between the two provinces and how health care is delivered, uh, you know, not just for the residents of Lloydminster, but for the surrounding area. And, you know, it was a recognition that Lloydminster is a service centre that serves both provinces. Uh, that was an important, a very important document, and uh, you know now moving forward, you know we have uh, you know the steering committee will, which will be able to address specific issues. There was an additional infusion of, of budgetary funds, both for uh, uh, you know the, uh, an OR for the primary care uh, clinic uh, at the co-op center and uh, additional funding for home care. You know, these are all very important uh, uh, funding announcements and, uh, you know, we recognize that uh, there has been in the past at least uh, some, uh, you know, uh, you know call it shortchanging, whatever you want to call it, you know, where Lloydminster, just simply because of the way measurements were taken, Lloydminster perhaps wasn't getting uh, the kind of funding from the two provinces that, that really the population deserved and uh, that's going to be addressed or that has already been started to be addressed and and almost as important as that is we now have a mechanism going forward to address new issues as they come up. The SPCA has two more animals featured for adoption in this week's pet project. Tiggy is a two-year-old shepherd cross and Saunders is a two-year-old domestic short-haired cat. Here's Jackie Tyson from the SPCA with more. <laughs> this is Tiggs. Tiggs is a two-year-old shepherd cross. He is dewormed and has received his first set of vaccinations. He will also be neutered before he goes home. Tiggs is a playful boy who has tons of energy. He will benefit from some training to help him channel all that energy. <laughs> He's super loving and affectionate and with the right partnership he will definitely thrive. Tiggs gets along well with other dogs but some may find him overwhelming so a meet and greet would be necessary before bringing him home. He would also do best in a home with older children. If you're interested in adopting Tiggs, come meet him today. Say hello to Saunders. Saunders is a two-year-old domestic short hair. He's neutered, dewormed, and updated on vaccinations. Saunders is a friendly boy who loves to meet new people. He's always sure to greet visitors with a friendly meow or a head rub. Saunders is fairly easygoing and enjoys lounging around, but his playful side comes out at times as well. He gets along great with other cats and is currently living in a cat condo. Saunders' adoption fee is currently waived, so if you're interested in giving him a home for the holidays, come meet him today.